In a painted logo, a woman stands on a tiered pedestal. Wearing a Roman toga, she holds a torch aloft. Its brilliant light shimmers against a silver word. Columbia, a Sony Pictures Entertainment Company. Titles appear. Columbia Pictures presents. In association with Relativity Media. Words appear. North Korea two years ago. Now two North Korean soldiers open a thick metal door and find a bloody blonde woman inside. They drag her by her bound arms into an interrogation chamber and drop her on the floor. One soldier yanks her arms up over her head and ties them down. Please, please, I'm not leaving there. They tie her feet to the floor. Please, I'm, I'm not a spy. You are a spy. I'm not a spy. Please let me go home. I'm okay. trying again. I am not a spy. I am a businesswoman. I work for Rick Petroleum and Gas. Please call them. I work for Rick Petroleum. You are here to sabotage our nuclear ambition. I'm not a spy. I'm not a spy. No. One soldier forces a hose into her mouth and another pours water down it. They keep the woman's lips locked tightly around the tube. A soldier stomps on her stomach and she spews the water out, then rolls over into a fetal position. Now a man in a suit stands waiting outside a grated metal door. It is through the grace and beneficence of our glorious Unyola. The torturer squirts the blonde woman through, her left eye bruised and swollen shut. The man in the suit reaches out for her, and they head toward a barricade at a border station. Keep your head down. Don't say anything till we make the swap. A soldier raises the barricade. In case Kim Jong-il here changed his mind. The man and woman stride across a fenced bridge toward a second border station. The North Koreans follow. At the second border station, South Korean soldiers wait at another raised barricade. torturer speaks up. Exchange. American border MPs exchange a North Korean man for the blonde woman and her escort. I don't understand. You don't understand what? All the rules say to leave me that one life is not worth blowing operational cover. You got that right. We have to lose someone for the greater good. We will. So why did you do it? Well, I didn't do it. He did. He nods toward an unshaven man. Once he found out where you were, there was no stopping him. He hurries toward the border. He petitioned the Senate, the State Department. We didn't need the publicity, so I figured we better do something where he's going to invade this goddamn rice paddy republic himself. The blonde woman gazes stoically at the unshaven man. Her colleague glances at her, his brow arched. As they pass the South Korean soldiers at the raised barricade, she blinks tearfully. The unshaven man takes a step forward, his expression inscrutable. You okay? Yeah. She strides toward the civilian, who stares anxiously at her injured face. Jagged geometric pieces of the image separate from each other like shards of glass. The central pieces slide together and form a title as the picture around them fades to black. Salt. Now pedestrians pass a high-rise apartment building. Words appear. Washington, D.C., present day. In an apartment, the civilian works at a kitchen table, his cheeks now smoothly shaven. A scruffy dog yawns in a dog bed behind him. The blonde peeks at the man from around a doorway. Her sultry eyes study him lovingly from above her high cheekbones and pouty lips. On the table, a tarantula climbs up the wall of a terrarium. The man looks up at the woman and smiles. She beams. Good morning. Happy anniversary. She pours a mug of coffee. You want me to make you breakfast? How about pancakes? You're cooking. You're joking. You like my cooking. Germans don't joke. <laughs> Bert likes my cooking. The dog eyes her as she hugs her husband from behind, then leans over his shoulder and kisses him on his lips and forehead. Get your bugs off the table. They're spiders. They're bugs. They're spiders. They're bugs. Now in her cubicle at Rink Petroleum, the blonde woman watches an instructional video. Fold the next layer back as you did the two before. Turn the napkin over. 
pulled both sides back and over one another, about a third of the way. Her colleague steps up. Check for symmetry. Press the fold down well. Are you doing this on company time? Insert your favorite silverware. It's my anniversary. And I want it to be perfect. She shows a folded paper napkin. But that is not sexy. No, but it is utilitarian. And utilitarian is the new sexy. Ren Trace, first name Usem, last name Utsev. Any verifiable hits? One. Hey, Francis, do me a favor and stick that in the safe till tomorrow. Matahari here's got a big night tonight. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Sir. I'd like a sir to you. From head to toe. I'm surprised he didn't call you your majesty. I like the ring of that. I think I prefer your majesty. Was I ever that young? <laughs> Younger. Walk me out. Later, they head through the lobby. How did the Oval Office briefing go? Oh, well, you know, usual. The president wants to know what's happening in Russia the day before it happens. How about you? I heard that interview went well. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed.